welcome to our EEG studio setup and recording tutorial. We are going to record EEG using Smart BCI wireless system with active dry electrodes and stream our data straight to MATLAB via LSL. Let's begin with EEG studio setup. Start its acquisition module. I'm going to use shortcut on my desktop. First, we need to go to its main drop-down menu and select application settings. From there, we choose the hardware tab. Before detecting Smart BCI amplifier, we need to ensure that Mitsar is selected as the manufacturer and Smart Air as the interface. Now click the refresh button and EEG Studio will look for all Smart BCI amplifiers in the Smart Air adapter range. Remember that Smart BCI needs to be on and Smart Air connected to the computer. Now our device is displayed in the list. Simply click on it then on tick box to select it. Now check its status, serial number and other parameters. Click apply to save your selection. Next switch to the data acquisition tab. As we are going to record with our active dry electrodes, choose smart dry for the layout. Next, we have to choose the reference electrode. I will go for the common ref electrode. As you may know, smart BCI sampling rate is 2000 Hz per second, but we need to choose our EEG storage rate. I'll keep 250 Hz, but you can switch to 500 Hz to if you want frequency band up to 150 Hz. Next comes input range. For dry electrodes, I always recommend setting the maximum available. Here you can select your default montage to begin records with. You can always click edit to customize it. So, let's do it now. In our case, we have two derivations that need to be deleted as the smart dry cap doesn't have them. Simply select FPZ and OZ using Cottrell and mouse cursor and click on the delete button here on the side. I'm going to add ear leads as well. This approach will allow me to switch between linked ears and referential montages at any time. As in my case, I have them installed on mastoids. I'll rename them to M1 and M2 and you can do the same for any channel you need. Moreover, I'll rename our custom montage to make it easily recognizable. Now just click Apply to save changes. Other parameters below are not as important since you can change them any time while recording. I will only suggest choosing the proper notch filter based on your national power supply network frequency. For example, for the US, it's going to be 60 Hz, and for Europe, 50 Hz. Basically, this is all setup we need before starting actual EEG recording. Now we are ready to create the new examination from the main menu with our preferable parameters. In this dialog window, you can fill in the exam card if needed. Here we see our EEG recording window with channel names according to our montage on the left side of the screen, a timescale on the top and sensitivity, speed, and filter parameters on the bottom in the status bar. But first, let us have a close look at the software user interface. In the input section, we have buttons to control recording and start impedance window. Next are controls for sensitivity and speed, then comes montage list and recording condition selection like eyes closed and eyes opened, as well as different event labels. To start data input, we simply click the green play button here. We have already applied the smart dry cap on the subject. And now you can see the real EEG signal here. First, we can evaluate signal quality without saving it. As our dry sensors have very high electrode impedance, we won't be able to use this parameter for signal quality evaluation. So we have invented a few alternatives. I prefer to use electrode polarization but there are other available like power supply noise amplitude or signal to noise ratio. We can also perform a few tests to validate our EEG. First, let the subject blink to record eye blinks artifacts. Here we can clearly see them in frontal lobe area. Next, our subject can clench his jaw that we can clearly see EMG artifacts. Now, if you are happy with the acquired signal and no electrodes need adjustment, you can click this red record button here. All captured data will be saved automatically. 
So let's record an eyes closed fragment for a few seconds to see alpha frequency. It appears when we close our eyes and relax. After the subject closes eyes, we can clearly see alpha bursts appearance in the occipital area. On the next step, I would like to demonstrate how we can easily stream EEG data from EEG Studio to MATLAB or any other application via lab streaming layer. We are going to switch to the Add-on tab and simply click on the LSL Outlet button. It will start a real-time data stream that we can catch and display with MATLAB in a few steps. Now open MATLAB application and add provided MATLAB viewer folder to the path. This is how we do it. Find the Add Path button under the Environment section and click Add Folder. Now browse for MATLAB Viewer. I have it on my desktop right here. Click Save and close the dialog window. Now type in the command line Viz Stream to access the viewer. Check the stream name. You're looking for one under the Mitsar name and click OK. Your LSL stream will be captured and displayed in separate window. You can apply any real-time data processing now. Thank you for watching our video and stay tuned.